know we can send our kids back to school in the fall, but the state is warning that things are going to be pretty different. Action News Now's Christina Vitali is live in Butte County. Christina, what can families expect for a typical school day to look like? That's still up in the air for now, Haley. The Chico Unified School District showed parents and teachers three different plans for when students head back to school. The first plan would be to stay online only. Distance learning. You know, are they going to be zooming and in and out with their with their children, and nobody's coming to school? The second, a mix of online and in person. I'm going to take some online classes and go to school for a couple classes for maybe the hands-on classes and stuff like that. The third, in-class learning only. Seventy percent of them said they wanted to go back in the traditional model. But some of them are coming back and say, we want to make sure that traditional model means that our child's also safe. But what does that look like? You know, are we cleaning the classrooms? All, you know, what is that going to look like? Do people have to wear masks? You know, does a teacher have to wear a mask? And all those types of things make it very difficult to happen. The state superintendent made suggestions about schools reopening, which include taking temperatures and social distancing. The challenge with a lot of the proposals that have been made, they just aren't feasible. I mean, the idea of um, keeping six feet apart in a classroom, we've already spaced that out. You would only be able to get 10 students in a classroom where currently we may have as many as 30. I don't see how they can do that because there's too many students to break up for every class that would create two or three classes, and I don't think they have enough teachers to do that. Having more sections of, of classes, we would actually be challenged to hire more teachers. But all of that doesn't work when you're receiving cuts to your budget. Cuts that Assistant Superintendent of Business Services Kevin Boltema says could impact programs and jeopardize staffing. Obviously, everything that we have in place right now, we think that our students and our teachers need to have a good education. But now we're being asked to cut possibly up to $9 million to our, our budget. Marchant told Action News Now he is worried how these measures will impact students. I know they're kind of getting used to it now when they have to go to a store if they're out, but it's kind of not something you're used to the people that you look up to or, or you play with every day. It'd be nice to have them back to school, easier on the parents somewhat, but it's a danger too. Wearing masks, it'll be a big adjustment for kids. Can it be done? Sure. Is it going to be the best of all options? Probably not, but I think, it, you know, educators find a way to make it happen. The state superintendent will be releasing school guidelines in early June. Live in Chico, Christina Vitali, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Now, the district says it's trying to let parents know the plan as soon as possible so we can start preparing for daycare and other needs.